So, this guy asked me how to make this card into ARC Bank. And apparently a lot of the tutorials out there don't really explain the process very well of creating uh, materials for the Source Engine. So, I'm gonna about I'm about to do it from scratch. Just walk you through the process all while converting these two cards to the Source Engine. All right. So the, you're going to have to know a couple of things about how the Source Engine, uh, which is the engine that Gary's Mod runs on, handles materials. So there are actually two parts of a material in the sur Source Engine. The Valve Texture Format, the .VTF, this is basically a fancy image. So yeah, this is just the image. You can see some examples here. So that's basically a, uh, a TIFF or a... JPEG or a PNG, except it's Valve's custom format. And then there's the VMT, which is the Valve material type. This gives information about what kind of material it is, like if it's metal or how light should be reflected off of it, stuff like that. But we're just going to make a very simple thing uh, for the card texture. So first, we're going to have to convert this... What is this? It's a PNG, so we're going to have to convert this PNG into a VTF. So, if you go to the v VTF page, you can type this link manually, because I'm a lazy person. You scroll down, you scroll down, and you see some uh, some programs you can get. Uh, VTF Edit is pretty, is pretty good, except it doesn't support the latest version of v VTF. I think it only supports 7.4 when the latest or... The latest one Gears Mod supports is 7.5. So I'm going to go ahead and get the Paint.net plugin. Uh, you could get the Photoshop plugin, but I only have the 64-bit version of Photoshop installed, and this doesn't work with that, so... Let's get the Paint.net plugin. I already have it installed, so whatever. Alright, so I recommend... I have a shortcut right here, anyway. That you make your own add-on folder... I'm not going to go into how to send it to the client. It should be easy to figure out. So I'm going to go custom card. Open this in a new window. And then, is it material or materials? I always forget. It's materials. And then from there, we can just create, like... Let's call it... What do you call it? Well, what is this card called? Call FNB. Let's call it FNB, just for fun. And then, great. So, alright. So let's save this image. And put it in there. So this one's card with numbers, so we just called it uh, card with numbers. And then the second one is the card without numbers. All right, that's good. So now we should see card with numbers and card without numbers. So the easiest way to convert it is let's go to paint.net. Come on. There we go. Just open it up. Open the image. And then file save as VTF since we've downloaded the plugin. Uh, sure. Just leave these the same. Uh, you can do animate layers, so if you have different layers, that will basically do a GIF, or whatever Valve's animated texture is. And just leave these, leave these on, on, their, on their own. It works pretty good. Works pretty fine. So there we have it. Do the same without numbers. What's really cool is that now you can use uh, paint.net to just double click on any any VTF and then you can view it. So that's pretty cool. Um, we don't need the PNGs anymore since we basically copied the image. It's a lot bigger too, but whatever. All right, so now let's create the VMTs. So I'm just going to copy the ones that my card uses. Uh, let's do card. So, all right, so we'll just name this. It can be named anything. Just make sure that you know where it is. And you should use these settings if you want to make something for, for a hood. 
So vertex color and vertex alpha one lets lets you change the color uh, with uh, with surface set color later. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's fine. You don't have to know Lua for this. I don't know what this does, and this allows transparency. So all you have to do is replace base texture with the path to your VTF file uh, without the VTF file extension since source assumes that anyway. So that's card with numbers. And then we do the same for card without numbers. All right, so this is so these will generate the icons for hoods and stuff like that, right? But however, we need to follow a slightly different process for the model. I'm still going to copy paste it, but so let's just take this file card with numbers model. And the the only real difference is that it's set to vertex lit generic. That's the material type used for models and you have the model set to 1. Uh, you can kind of read up on the other uh, properties that you can do, like make it have better lighting or make it have uh, good reflections, because I don't use any reflections. But yeah, you, you can play around with those settings and see what fits you the most. So all you have to do is do set it to base texture to FNP, then card with numbers. Notice how I didn't type in card with numbers model since this is a path to a VTF file. So you can have multiple VMT files that point to the same VTF except maybe one you have it set to metal while the other you have it set to plastic or something like that. So I'm just gonna copy paste because I'm paranoid. Yeah I did it right. Alright so let's go load up Gmod and see how it works. Come on. There you go. Uh, when you're testing single player, you should always put like a listen server, so two players, whatever. This is because ARC Bank doesn't work on single player. So let's just do flat grass as the fast map to load. This is what life with an SSD looks like, by the way. Haha, <laughs> glow quote. Yeah, I couldn't have gotten this computer without my customers, though, so... I appreciate that. Alright, while it's loading, I just double take a look at this, make sure I did things properly. So if I open card without numbers, it should be that one. And if I open card with numbers, good. Alrighty then. Nice loading screen. It, it's great. I, I truly support. Uh, you know what, I, I'm not going <laughs> to talk, otherwise I'll get a... Oh, did I just... I just deleted that file. Oh, well. It's a good thing I have backups. And by backups, I mean git. Alrighty then. So we're in here. So we get the card. And yeah, it's still the default one. So let's go to the... Admin GUI. And then what you do is that you want the card texture. And so you set this to the path of your VMT folder, not your VTF, the uh, VMT. So, so card texture, that's the hood one right there. So we want the card without numbers. So we'll do FNP slash card without numbers. Hit enter. And if I die and come back to life. Oh yeah, it looks like this person has to <laughs> reset their card size a bit. Oh, whatever. And uh, now if we do card texture world, we'll do FNP and then cards with numbers model. Okay. 
make sure that when you're creating the image, make sure it's exactly like mine. Oh, see? Yeah, look. Let's fight. There we go. Again, it's a bit cut off because they didn't make the image the exact dimensions as mine. Looks like I discovered a bug, even though it should have worked. Oh, that's because it's the vault. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's a bit, uh... But if he fixes the image, that'll be fine. Alright, so that is how you make your custom card. Hey, look, I dropped money. How you make your custom card texture work with ARC Bank. Now, again, remember that unless... Remember that you have to make your card... Oh, no, ATM base. You have to make your card fit exactly over mine. Otherwise, the image will become distorted, and it won't look as nice. But yeah, as long as you figure that out, you'll be fine. Alright then. This NVIDIA thing is so weird.